For this TED Talk, we wanted to conduct an experiment. So we brought in students from business, architecture, and liberal studies to build a tower. They were to build this tower out of pasta, tape, and string. They had to put a marshmallow on the top and make it stand, and they had 10 minutes to do this. We wanted to see the ways that they would collaborate and work together and how their different areas of studies would affect the way that they did this. Um, so yes, I think it's a good idea that we have something at the bottom that can right. somehow support this because that's great height right yes, there. Yes, that is <laughs> wonderful. That's Maybe wonderful. we should, we should, we should well, what's the best way to support that small of a noodle? I, what we put we multiple. Made, what if we made a, like a teepee formation here? Interesting. <laughs> I feel like you have an idea, so I should Well, <laughs> it's not a good one. <laughs> you should talk. I think I'm gonna bury my... Do you like cross them, maybe? I get right on the wrong thing. Why would you break it in half? Because I think don't break all of them. After the start. you go, yeah, yeah, sure. But after <laughs> us, like this is a this is pretty flimsy. Don't do it, <laughs> All right. Spaghetti on the bottom now. Okay. You think? Yeah. We'll just make a little tripod base. You know? So we'll do we'll do something like this, right? Mm -hmm. well, we can do a tighter. Could be half of that. Tighter base. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap this. How many? I don't want to do any glistening on this, so I'm going to put it out this way on the table. Because I don't quite get how I'm not the marshmallow. Or are you just going to stab the marshmallow on the top? We could do like a four, like a space truss all the way to the top and it becomes a pair and just stab the marshmallow. And that might be stable though. Not stable. You want to do a truss? A space truss. So it's just four. Okay. You know, and, it and then cross it? So I mean, that yeah. might waste spaghetti. Yeah. Or we double up. Oh. And we'd have to like do stuff like this, where it's like this and then this, right? Yeah. And then we have our base, we can crack one and then do like a little triangle base. And then we lean it and then we can use the string to wrap it, to hold it as you go up. You feel? I feel it. Yeah. Based on our experiment, our recommendation is through facilitation. So we saw a little bit of this in each of the videos and during the experiments, but not enough to be really successful. You can do this by asking what do you think kinds of questions and delegating based on strengths and weaknesses. In a business setting, this is incredibly powerful so that people are really playing to their strengths. We were able to identify how each group could think outside the box. And this was important because each group did it differently, the way they planned their experiment, the way they executed it, and ultimately how tall their tower was. Um, this is extremely important in the workplace because each person has a different personality and each coworker interacts with each other differently. It's extremely important to think outside the box and to be able to be innovative and create new things for the company you're working for and ultimately to help you yourself get promoted in the future by working hard and helping your company in every way that you can. One of our recommendations is to prototype. Prototyping is the process in which groups test their ideas while it's still in the, the initial stages before moving on to create something more complex. Even though my group was a group of architecture students, they still made the mistake of waiting until the five minute mark to try to put the marshmallow on top. 
In this case, prototyping would have been achieved had they tried to place that marshmallow on top of their structure earlier on in the process. Instead, they were too ambitious in their planning and building stages and didn't take time to do trials. Had they done a trial or two along the way, they would have realized that their initial idea didn't work and they could have pivoted in a different direction. This is something you can use in your own life by remembering to test things before you commit. In the business world, this could mean testing your product before you put forward more time and energy into the project. But as a student, this could look like exploring multiple career paths or companies before deciding what to do after graduation. In conclusion, conducting this experiment taught us how important it is to think outside the box when you're working with a group of people to be more productive and get the job done. We also learned how important it is to make a prototype to have a plan and to act out that plan and follow it through. And then we also saw how important it is to have leadership and facilitation so that everything goes smoothly um, on the job. And this can be applied to any aspect of life, whether it's sports, school, any school projects, or at your future job. And we learned a lot from this project, and we hope that you did too.